Hey everyone, today is a crazy travel day. So it's our last day in Bucharest and we're headed to the airport right now. This uh, travel journey is split over two days. The first part is flying to Amsterdam and then from there we have to get to the UK. So it's a pretty long travel day. Miss Miss is coming with us as Yay! well. So we're gonna go to the airport. We're gonna take the bus to get there. Once we get to the airport, we have to get her checked in. And then we have a pretty quick flight. It doesn't take long to get to Amsterdam. I'm okay right now. I. The thing that I get the most nervous about on travel days is just Chloe. Um, Cause I'm fine. How's Chloe? She said on the stressometer, she's at a one. First hurdle done. Okay, so we're walking to the bus stop. It's about a 10 minute walk and then about an hour bus ride to the airport. First objective is done. We've reached the bus station. The bus should be coming any minute. So once we're on the bus, I feel like a major hurdle's been done. So it's going good. Okay, we made it onto the bus. Now we just have to hold everything in place using the matrix. <laughs> made it to the airport. Made it to the airport now. It's the first big, big hurdle. We have to get checked in. I've never flown out of Romania with a dog, so I'm not entirely sure what the procedure is. I know for a fact Holly's been stressing about it. As soon as they open the check-in desk, we're gonna be the first ones in. Chloe. Chloe. Made it past everything. Yay! Now we have to go eat lunch, and then our flight should leave in like an hour, so we're doing good. We've had lunch now, we have less than an hour before our boarding time. So we're gonna head to the gate. Everything has gone smoothly, so we're doing a good job today. Travel days don't always have to be hectic. She's coming in. She said psych. <laughs> Alright, now we're finally boarding. It's about a three hour ride to Amsterdam. And then, what, like an hour train? Yeah. <laughs> Chloe, how are you? Fantastic. All right, we've boarded the plane. It's going all right. Chloe just fell off the chair when Holly was stuffing it into her bag. She's a little bit restless right now, but hopefully by the time we take off, she should calm down. She'll, She'll go be to sleep. Be, She'll yeah. take a nap, yeah. about to land in Schiphol, Amsterdam. The flight went pretty well. I just watched uh, Star Wars and then fell asleep. Holly? Just cried the whole time. No. <laughs> just missing Romania. I just, uh, yeah, I didn't say anything. Schiphol International Airport, where the local time here is 7 o'clock in the evening, and the outside temperature is 30 degrees Celsius. Fourth time here at Chippel. She practically knows this place in the back of her hall. <laughs> she spent the night here once at the pet hotel. Okay, we've made it through. We've got our bags, made it through customs, did a little grocery shop. All in all, I have to say it was a pretty easy, fairly regular flight. Just had extra baggage in the form of Chloe. She did great though. But getting through Chippel Airport, Amsterdam. One of the best airports. It's one of the best. It was so easy. However, our day isn't finished because <laughs> we now have to get to The Hague. So. so we have to take a bus and a train, right? Train and a bus, correct. So we're going to buy our bus and our train tickets right now. I'm going to take Chloe outside so she can do her business. So we're getting a intercity train to Den Haag station uh, and it's 21 euros for two people. Not too bad. The tickets have been successfully procured. Um, I just asked the guy and he said you just have to go to platform 5 and 6. We've got approximately half an hour before the next direct train comes. Glamorous side of traveling. It's dinner time. Man is the face of a satisfied lady. <laughs> I'm excited. The biggest hurdle of the day done. 
salad in hand. I think we're halfway there. But overall it's been an extremely pleasant journey. I think this is exactly why we love Netherlands. It's one of our favorite countries. Everything just seems happier here. This is the car stop. Now we just have to get one more bus and then we'll be at our hotel. Tram. One, one more tram. Not to jinx it, but that was another successful step. We had to get on tram number three and just get to the hotel. Volgende halte, next stop van Spijkstraat. 100 meters away. Feeling so pumped. We reached home sweet home, at least for the night. <laughs> All right, we're at the hotel, so we're gonna get some sleep because we have another early morning because we have to catch the ferry for 12 o'clock. Stay tuned for that vlog. That's gonna be an adventure in itself. <laughs> we have no idea what's gonna happen. Hopefully it goes as smoothly as it did today, but you can never, never predict these things. <laughs>